tempers flaring again at another wild school board meeting in California. Now, we recently told you about an explosive controversy sparked by a giant paycheck to the school superintendent, and that storm is far from over. We come here to get an education. We don't come here to be taken advantage of, okay? That's all I have to say. Thank you for having me. Sparks flying at the Sentinella Valley School Board meeting last night. Hundreds of furious parents and students confronting board members about one of the highest paid public school officials in the nation. I hold the board accountable for letting this go astray. You were voted on. If all you board members escape jail time, consider yourselves lucky. You are an embarrassment to our area. I demand, I demand that you step down because you do not represent us at all. At the heart of the controversy is Jose Fernandez, superintendent of the Sentinella Valley High School District. Fernandez earning more than $663,000 in total pay last year while the district was laying off teachers. We students struggle for textbooks and updated textbooks for our classes. <laughs> like, all my teachers have, they have to go buy their own paper. One angry resident going on the record when the story broke. Something is very, very wrong in the school district that the, super, the superintendent is getting that kind of money. And that resident taking on the school board at last night's meeting. So I said, what does this man care about? Does he care about the children? Absolutely not. That is the last thing in his mind is the children. So I said to myself, I said, what would a man like this care about? The only thing that he cares about is this. But the pay is not the only issue. Also fueling outrage, the district giving Fernandez a $910,000 low interest loan for a home in affluent Los Angeles suburb. Regular people don't get $910,000 home loans after filing for bankruptcy twice. And when a local newspaper started exposing the story, the district rushing to hire a public relations consultant, paying him $175 an hour, racking up $24,000 for the year. The board and I have some tough discussions ahead of us about my compensation package. Only 6,600 students are attending just four schools in the district. But Fernandez makes more than his counterparts in much larger public school systems, like the New York City and Los Angeles public schools. As a show of good faith, I am agreeing that for the remainder of this fiscal year, I will voluntarily forgo a number of my significant payments I am entitled to under my existing contract. Fernandez is now refusing a 9% annual raise. On top of that, he is putting the brakes on his car expenses, rejecting $600 a month. And he won't force the school to foot his $200 monthly sale bill. Plus a $1 million life insurance policy currently paid by taxpayers dropped. So how much is he making now? Before state and federal income taxes, my salary would be $295,000. I appreciate, Mr. Fernandez, how you just said that you will no longer take those raises and all the things that you said. But my question is to the board members, why did you allow that to happen? And Jay Gould is back with us. Nice to see you, Jay. Hi, how are you doing, Greta? So uh, how was last night's meeting? It was really exciting. Uh, I think there was a lot of angry people. I thought that everybody there had really major concerns. And at the end of the day, Hernandez and them were still absolutely like they don't care. And they, they said, well, we're going to cut our pay. We're going to do this for the next three months. And that is in July. They're going to stop doing it. And then it's going to go back. And then th they make comments after everybody left that after the media goes away, it'll be business as usual. So I don't think there's going to be any change. Thank God for the news that you guys actually took care of this and brought it out. But I believe it'll be business as usual because he has a contract that the contract states that he's going to be able to do this and this and this. And the board members will not take responsibility. No one else will take responsibility for his actions and their actions. And they are just going to go on as businesses. They're waiting for you guys to go away. I hope you never leave. None of you uh, newscasters ever leave. You are a godsend. Well, I have a copy of the contract and what I don't understand is this, is that I know that the, the wrath is sort of directed at Jose Fernandez, but, you know, it, this, this contract was signed with all these board members, the Board of Education of Sentinella Valley Union High School. Uh, Gloria Ramos didn't sign it, but Sandra Suarez, 
Ra Rocchio Pisano, Hugo Rojas, um, a woman named uh, Molina. I mean, they signed it. They're the ones that are doing it. He just took it. You know, he just accepted a contract and signed it. Why? You know, where are they in all this? Well, here's here's what I didn't understand. And he said, well, we have weights and balances. And he said, we sent it to the state. We can't approve it. The state has to approve it. And then they send it back to us and say it's OK. So, you know, I so they're just like throwing the blame on the state because they had to send it to them. And then they send it back to uh, uh, the, the school board and the school board approves it. I, and I, I didn't understand it, and, and he would not answer, how is that possible? Because he did not want to uh, respond to any of that. Well, the, the, the board, it's the school district board of education that cut this deal. They're the ones who thought it was a great idea. They're the ones spending your money. Right, and, and I don't know why, uh, I don't know which legal aspect we have the whole thing. We need to do but, something to, to put them under control. Well, well, we'll continue to follow, Jake. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you.